Happy holidays! I'm Jordan Short and this is The Bite. Having just gotten back from Thanksgiving break, Reed Spring is back into action, ending the semester with a bang. We have begun our annual food drive in recognition of the holiday season. There are a variety of awards for number of cans brought, ranging from a visit from Santa Claus to the entire history department getting pied in the face. And if that's not incentive enough, the food drive will also count towards spirit points. You can check the description on the school website for acceptable food items. Speaking of spirit points, there was a bit of upheaval after the results of the coolest class competition were announced, with juniors in first, freshmen second, sophomores third, and seniors taking last place. This unprecedented change in tide has led many seniors to start planning on ways to regain their title as coolest class and win spirit points. So all you underclassmen better watch out and be prepared for a fight. Today is the fifth day of Hanukkah, with the eight-day festival ending on Sunday, December 5th. This day holds some significance as it's the first day when a majority of candles are lit on the menorah. The Bite wishes a happy Hanukkah to all who celebrate. December 11th is the 6th annual Miracle on Wolf Lane. The celebration is a free community event from 1 to 3 p.m. with crafts, games, and snacks. All are welcome to attend. The Reed Spring Speech and Debate team placed third yet again at the Buffalo Tournament. This was their last tournament of the semester and eight students went to finals. Humorous Interpretation took five of six final spots, with Harmony Andrews in sixth, Ember Duwani in fifth, Kaya Barr in fourth, Jordan Short in third, and Sophia Brown in second. Jordan Short also placed fifth in prose and second in storytelling, Jada McGuirk placed fifth in informative speaking, and Talon Lemoyne placed third in radio speaking. Two Reed Spring students broke in poetry reading, with Rylan Frisbee taking sixth and Kaya Barr coming home as poetry champion. Congrats to everyone who participated. The JV wrestling team attended the Cal Willie Tournament at McDonald County High School. Six team members went on podium. And last, but certainly not least, we would like to wish both the men's basketball and academic academic teams good luck at their respective tournaments. Both tournaments will be held December 6th at Reed Spring High School, and if you happen to be on the lookout for service hours, you can see Miss Ravens about how you can help at the Reed Spring Quiz Bowl meet. Now to our featured interview. Hi there, I'm Nathan Kruger. Welcome back to The Bite. Today we have Mr. Cook and Miss Tabor. Uh, we're going to talk about the new musical that we're doing. So what musical are we doing this year? We are doing High School Musical, the musical. High School Musical, the musical. Yes. yes. Very, very great. Yes. Uh, why did we choose this musical? I mean, me and you kind of both talked about the fact that we're trying to really get people interested in theater and a lot of people know High School Musical and are familiar with it and get excited about it, whether it's in high school because of High School Musical, the musical that just came out, or people who are, you know, millennials, that it was popular when we were in high school. So it kind of catered to everybody, and we thought that it would be exciting and kind of get the ball rolling on new, uh, the new people. Yeah, and the message of High School Musical, I mean, it ends with the song, We're All In This Together, and after the times that we kind of have had, uh, being together is now what we're trying to push, and I think theater, doing theater, is one of those camaraderie building uh, experiences. And it's just trying to build a program too. Why not start with a big show like High School Musical? Yeah. Uh, so how are we preparing for this musical? Well, we have rehearsals every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, actors come in Monday. They We do a lot of blocking and scene setting and then Tuesdays and Wednesdays are heavy music, singing, and choreography. So that's how they are preparing. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they are practicing on their own time <laughs> too. Yeah. yeah, we do a lot of a lot of chore choreography and dance heavy um, things on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and it's it's basically a workout as we're preparing. Um, we've been learning we're all in this together and it's some really heavy choreography. So, it's going to be exciting. Uh, are there any songs you want the audience to look out for in the whole play? 
like we keep hinting, we're all in this together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the big one that people, I mean, people already kind of know that song. So that's the one that would probably be the most well-oiled machine in terms of singing and dancing to it because it's such a popular song. Yeah, and honestly, the entire cast is doing a really good job at learning all the songs anyway. We're learning quickly and it's, it is sounding really good. So any of the songs are great to look out for, yeah. but especially that last one because it is going to be so heavy in the choreography as well as singing at the same time, which is intense. Yeah, and the entire cast is in it. So it's cool to broadcast and show off all of the cast instead of just the, I mean, the leads are important, yes, but we want to make sure that everyone gets their spotlight. So that's a good song to look out for to see everyone that's been part of this pro process. And there's one final question we always ask us at the end of every interview. Do you guys have a message you'd like to send out to the school? Just a short little couple words. You caught me off guard. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Should I give my like worldly advice that I give to all my people when oh, they ask me this question? Yes. Doors, man. Some open one way, others open a different way. And all of them close. Most of them. Revolving doors don't count. That's my advice. I'm not going to give any philosophical <laughs> advice on here. That, so, someone's going to watch this and they're going to be like, that That speaks to my heart. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. I was brought on to speak to hearts. There's another one. I'm on it today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, Ms. David, you have a message you'd like to send? Oh, what did I say at uh, casting? Oh, what was the thing? I said a thing. You got me off guard, and then that just took me way off, <laughs> way off guard. Uh, That's what I'm here for. Oh, shoot. I don't know. I forgot. I don't remember. Oh, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all the time we have. Thank you guys so much for coming in. I know it was a little last minute, but yeah. Thank you. All right. I'm Thanks, Nate. And back to Jordan. And thank everyone once again for watching. I'm Jordan Short, and I hope to see you next week on The Bites.